Hello! Um, so I'm back today. I'm not meaning to shout at you. I'm not sure why I'm so excited. I finished a book yesterday that I absolutely loved. Spoiler alert. I haven't done a standalone book review in a while and I just wanted to talk about this one and I want other people to read it because I loved it so much. So the book in question, as I'm sure you'll know from the title, is The Extraordinary Life of Sam Hill by Robert Dugoni is I believe how you say his name. This one I picked up because Melissa Hartwig of Whole30 fame recommended it. She typically reads a lot of like dark and twisty stuff is what she talks about. That's not really my speed. I like a just like standard fiction. I don't like things to be too graphic and all of that but she said that this one was really sweet um, and she said even though it was like kind of like saccharine sweet, I feel like she used some sort of uh, wording like that, she really loved it. And so I read some reviews, has great reviews on Goodreads, so I decided to pick it up. I got this along with pudding from last month's What I Read, and this one I honestly was not drawn to, but I decided, okay, when I finished that one I needed to read my next library book. So I picked this one up and I was instantly hooked. It reminds me a lot a lot a lot of Forrest Gump it's not quite as like sensational as Forrest Gump but it's definitely got that um you know from childhood to adulthood like angst and problems and just all of those things like challenges of growing up um a little different so Sam Hill is born with ocular albinism. I'm not sure exactly how you would say that, but basically he doesn't have any pigment to his eyes. His eyes are red. Um, I think that's maybe why they did like this filter over this picture. I really enjoy the cover of it as well. Um, and they, it really like the story is just of him, you know, having these red eyes. It's in the late fifties when he's born. I believe it was in 1957 when he was born. Um, and it's just his stories of kids obviously making fun of him, being mean, bullying, how his childhood bully comes back later in life, how he has to stand up and do the right thing. Um, some of it is very sweet. Some of it is very convenient. I felt like there were certain parts where I was like, okay, that's a little too convenient of a plot twist. but. I just really loved it. I feel like this is one that is a great summertime read. I feel like I could tell almost anybody to read it and that they would enjoy it. Um, especially if you love a movie like Forrest Gump where it's got that kind of, I don't know, that like sweet story. You know when you watch Forrest Gump it's it's funny and it's heartwarming. It's sad. I mean I I got teary-eyed when I read this uh, and I don't usually cry during books and it just has a lot of similarities so if you hate Forrest Gump maybe you don't want to read this but I just really wanted to talk about it because I thought this was so so great and really I just want to talk to other people who have read this because nobody in my life has um, and I just wanted to pass on the message so if you have read this, I would love to hear your thoughts, even if you hated it. I really love when people, when I've read a book, I love to hear other people's like negative opinions sometimes because I think it's very interesting. I think that books can kind of come into your life at a perfect time and that's why it fits with you. Uh, you know, who knows, had I read this three months ago, maybe I wouldn't have loved it as much, but I just really, really loved this one. And it really, I think, because I haven't been reading as much lately, it was just the one. It was so nice to have a book. I, it took me about a week to read. It's like 400 some pages. Uh, I didn't have as much time. I haven't had as much time to read. So it was so nice to have like this cute little like sweet book to read at night. And I really never wanted to put it down. I did go to bed late a few nights because I was reading it. So again, let me know if you've read this. Let me know if you've read anything else recently that you've loved because I am always looking for great book recommendations especially stories like this like summertime reads and um, maybe things that are a little too sweet but it's not cheesy I will say that it's not it's not sweet in a bad or cheesy way there's just some plot points that are a little bit convenient um, 
But yeah, so I would love to know your thoughts if you've read this and that is all. Thank you so much for listening to me chat and gush about this book. All right, goodbye.